How's everybody doing? Sitting here in my studio. Um, just got back from a doctor's appointment. Got to go to another one today. That's why I'm off today. Uh, got to take care of my medical stuff. But uh, I want to make this video why I think black women and white men should get together more often for dating and marriage. Okay. Um, I've been in a successful marriage with a black woman for 28 years. So, uh, and I've experienced that blessing. And uh, here, here's some reasons why I think we should get together, i.e. black women, white men, okay? And I'm going to put some good points on both sides. And this is just generally speaking, okay? Every individual is different. But this is what I see. Black, when we talk about black women, okay? Black women are easygoing. They really are. Um, you get to know them. You show them love and respect, you get it back. You sh you sure do. Um, black women are reasonable. They really are. It, you know, a lot of black women are looking for a relationship, looking for love. And, uh, you know, if you're doing what you're supposed to, um, she's pretty reasonable. And you don't have to be a Tom Cruise with a body like Arnold, okay? Uh, of course, black women, you know, you got to be attractive to them, of course. Um, but they're pretty reasonable. They really are. And uh, black women are loyal. If a black woman loves you, she'll be with you to the end of time. You treat her right, you have a, life, a wife forever. You really do. And uh, black women do have a tendency to put those they love above themselves. You know, and... and they'll sacrifice for you if they love you now is it required for them to do that no that's just they have a big heart and uh for those they love they put first before themselves um black women right now are the most educated okay i know there's debate on what kind of degrees they're getting or whatever but they're the most educated okay so that says something about their character black women are resilient they have a way to adapt and overcome. And we're seeing it in society. And, uh, you know, if you get a black woman in marriage and she's resilient and adapts and overcomes, you're going to have a powerful ma marriage. You're going to have a true uplifting relationship. Okay. Also, black women are direct. Okay. And, and white men, I'm telling you this. Black women are direct. They, they want you to be honest and upfront with them. And when you approach black women, a lot of times you should just approach them. Let her know how you feel. Um, they get confused when you, you know, stare at them and wink or smile or that type of stuff. Just be direct. Approach her. Let her know your intent. A and be loving and respectful. It goes a long way. And I'm telling you, black women are really appreciative of this. Even if they're not interested in you. They appreciate that, you know, you see something in them and you see the beauty they have and you have interest in them. You know, black women are really reasonable that way. And, uh, you know, they are willing to date white men. They are. I talk to them all the time. They're just confused because white men ain't as direct as black men. And that's probably because there's a racial barrier and a lot of white men don't have access to black women because some communities there's not many black women and vice versa. Okay? But the numbers are increasing. But those are good qualities black women have that I see. Okay? Now, when it comes to white men, here, here, here's some positives for you, black women, for you ladies. You know, when it comes to white men, you know, usually in our culture, We've been uh, trained and groomed to get married, to be husbands and fathers. Um, you know, marriage ain't what it used to be, but a traditional white guy is going to get married. And that, that's what he's been taught to do. That's within the culture. Um, so if a white man loves you, black women, he is going to he, he is going to marry you. Once he gets to know you and feels you're the right one, he's not going to waste time. It's not going to be a long, drawn-out process. Okay, so white men are more apt to marry you than black men, statistically. 
Okay, I'm not saying all. This is statistics, okay? Um, the colorism thing, okay? White men that date black women, they don't even see this colorism thing. They're not even thinking about it. They see you as a black woman. And uh, I tell you, for me, I never thought about how light or dark she is. I just knew that I was a black woman and I'm attracted to her. I want to be with her. Um, so you don't really have that colorism thing. I'm sure there's some weirdos that get wrapped up in that. But for the most part, we don't even think about that. In fact, um, I've noticed this, and I really didn't notice till it was brought to my attention, but a lot of white men are with dark-complected black women. You know, it's like we embrace that. And a dark-complected black woman, I love it. I think it's beautiful. You know, it's unique. So us as white men, we don't really have that colorism thing. We're not looking through a colorism lens like that. Um, so usually you don't have to deal with that. He's attracted to you. He wants to be with you. Okay. Now, another positive, white men in America are the biggest group of men. So if your options are open, you go from a pond to an ocean. And, and two... We are the biggest group right now. So you have a wide range of men to choose from. And believe it or not, white men, we, us as white men are not alike. We're different, okay? Um, you know, and that brings value. When you open up your options, it brings more value to you, ladies. So you have more men competing for you than, you know, one group. And... You know, statistically, we have the most wealth. We do. Because we're the majority, okay? Um, not saying you can find wealthy black men. They're out there. But there's more white men because there's more of us. I mean, so it opens up your options even more. Okay? And now, also, us as white men and black women, a lot of times we're leaders in our community. We're expected to make things happen. Um, and when we come together, we're like the workhorse in our community. So we hit the ground running. Um, and we think st strategically, in my opinion. I think white men and black women are thinking strategic. And when you really feel the love of a black woman, you know, you feel love from God. And I always said that black women have an extra kick have like a turbo to them you know and, and one thing black women will do for you white men if she loves you you know even when you're up or down she's always there for you and she'll bring out the best in you she'll make you more successful than you ever thought you can be just by her love and support that she gives you you know from the passion she has to the emotions you know it brings out the best in you. And when you feel that true love, you have no option to, but to be successful for that woman you fell in love with, the black woman. And uh, we are so much alike, black women and white men, it, it's like we're meant for each other. Now, I'm not saying all, but quite a bit of us are. You know, we're, we're, we're two groups of people that think we, we're not interested in each other. That think we're, you know, we don't want to be with each other. And, and it's the total opposite. You know, I, I've heard one guy, this black guy was laughing, saying, yeah, okay, there's white men secretly loving black women and making a joke. But actually, that's true. That really is true. There's a lot of white men that would love to date black women, but are unsure how to approach the unsure you know the result they'll get and a lot of times they don't have access to black women so really it's you know you got to be where they're at to have that uh connection and same thing with black women black women are willing to date white men they are and we're both ready to receive each other and we got a blessing that we don't even know we got and we're so much alike we 
we're like the power couple. When we come together and we fall in love and the love is true, there's nothing that can't stop us. And, and I say that honestly. I look at my marriage and I've been successful because of my black wife, you know, being by my side and loving me. And, uh, you know, we are strategic, you know, and we are leaders. And guys, why wouldn't you want a woman that's, you know, has the least amount of resources, but the most successful when it comes to the education, when it comes to opening businesses? You know, the black woman is so resilient, loyal, and loving. And some say, well, they got the most divorces and this and that. And mo well, not with white men, they don't. Because when we fall in love with a black woman, we go all the way. We do. And I'm telling you, we should get together more often. We should. We're ready to receive each other on both ends, white men and black women. And ladies, open up your options. And if you're not in the white men, you got Asians, Hispanics. I, I mean, it's out there. There's an ocean out there, ladies. And black women, you deserve the best because you are the best. You deserve to fly first class because you are first class. That, that's my opinion. And if I had it to do all over again, I would choose, chose, I would choose the black women hands down every time. Because I've seen the real beauty. I've seen the true blessing. And I'm not talking just the beauty looking at them. Because they are beautiful to look at. But what you see in their heart and in their soul. You know that's a love that comes from God. And us as white men are seeing that. You know those of us that date you ladies. And want to marry you. We understand the value of a black woman. We understand the quality that she brings. And ladies, you deserve to have the best. Whatever color of man you want to be with. It's your choice. It's your life. Go with the one that celebrates you and loves you. And I'm telling you, from a white man's perspective, that's been married to a black woman for 28 years, black women, I love you. I do. You are first class. You are the best. And there's many white men and men of other races like myself, that love you black women. So be that first class lady that you are and don't settle for less. You know, the best should always have the best, ladies. And you are the best. And uh, that's just my thoughts. And I think we should get together more often. I, I think interracial marriages are beautiful. I, I think it's a beautiful thing that we could come together and love each other even though if we're from different races, even though we got different skin tones, even though we're from different parts of the country or different parts of the world, you know, finding true love is a beautiful thing. Finding true love is a blessing from God. And I would tell men out there and there's people that say white men ain't going to tell them black, tell them other white men to find a black woman. Oh, I am white men. Get with a black woman, white men. Seek out the black woman and find out the true treasure she is. Because you get with a black woman that loves you, you'll find a, a good wife, a good best friend, a good mother, uh, a good partner in life. You'll find your better half, hands down. But anyway, that's my thoughts, guys. Um, you know, tell me what you think about this video. Tell me what you think about my thoughts. Um. I truly believe black women are the best choice. I truly believe that black women are first class. They're on top. They are. You know, and I wouldn't date or marry any other woman except a black woman, which I have. So my life reflects what I'm saying. Um, but I've seen the true beauty in black women. I found that hidden treasure and thank God for it. Guys. Look towards the black woman. She is the hidden treasure. She is the blessing from God. You know. If she loves you. Oh, you, you won't even. Comprehend the blessings you have. But anyway. That's all I got. I'll talk to you guys later. 
Have a good day, and I'll see you tonight on my live.